Hi, Carl Ford at TMC Newsroom. I'm here with my pal David Owen, who is the VP of Marketing at Sprint. And boy, am I excited because we have the, what do we call this phone? This is actually called the HTC Evo 4G. It's the first 4G handset, so America's fastest handset, announced uh, yesterday at CTIA. Dan, Dan did, did the announcement. I had lots of my friends coming over all excited about this device. So take us through it. T tell us sure, all about it. Sure, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so first of all, um, it's the first 4G device. So let me explain that a little bit. 4G is actually 10 times faster than 3G. So people hear a lot about 3G because of AT&T and Verizon commercials. But this is actually 4G, so 10 uh, what times you can faster. See, first of all is when you do that, what we wanted to make sure that we did is also optimize the device. And that speed really allows you to have a great video experience. So the first thing you'll notice is it's actually a 4.3 inch screen. So to give you context, that's about 30% larger than say an iPhone screen. And you'll see the device isn't that much larger, but the screen's huge. We also use a Snapdragon processor, which is about twice as fast as processors. And I'll show you why, because when you're showing video, you can't just have a fast network, you have to have a fast processor. Um, you'll see on the, on the back, you've actually got eight uh, megapixel camera with with flash it's also a camcorder so ditch the ditch your camera ditch your camcorder you'll you don't need one because you've got this you'll also see a quick a kickstand and I'll show you the reason for the kickstand here in a minute uh, when I'm showing you video and I'll pull up a video for a second I'll pull this back out you can see it's a hundred percent touchscreen I'm gonna pull up a video it's remarkable quality. So I'm actually showing you a, a video that I had on here. In addition to the, the fact that I can play this, I actually have an HDMI cable that's sold separately, but I can HDMI to my high definition TV, and I can literally show this in 720p. So I can show this video on my TV at home in high def. And what's great about it is, so I'm showing you a video, uh, you know, a movie, but I, I could actually build user-generated content my own. I could have a video of my kids' dance recital. I could show it up on my TV. So I'll show you a couple of other uh, really cool things about the device. Um, one of the things is just the keyboard itself. So I'll show you the size of the keyboard so you get a good sense of, a lot of people are worried about 100% touchscreen device. Will I be able to do a good job with the keyboard? You can see it's a huge keyboard. Um, and then the, the product also has, it's on the latest operating system from Google. It's Android 2.1. Um, and so it gives you some really, really unique capabilities. And I'll show you a couple of different things. One, you can see, this is actually from HTC. They have what's called Sense. So I have seven different screens that I can build and personalize. But here's a couple of applications. I talked about Google, and I'll talk about that one in just a second. But here's an application called Quick. Quick is ac actually um, streaming video. So now you're going to see my hand in the background. But again, another really cool thing with this, I can uh, be videoing my daughter's dance. My parents can actually see that on a PC at home. They can be 2,000 miles away, and it's going to stream to that website. And they can see that. Another really cool thing. And if, if I wanted to just take that video and upload it to Facebook, I could do that as well. And then I'll show you one other thing just real quick. There's a million things I could show, but there's actually Google. And it's Google Goggles. Uh, Google Goggles is actually a visual search. So I could take a picture. If I had something like the Eiffel Tower behind me, I would take a picture. And what it would do is it would actually say, oh, that's, they'll scan it. And it'll say, that's the Eiffel Tower. And then it'll give me search results just like Google does normally. So, so it's, got no, it's got cognitive recognition Correct. about, about what, what it is it's seeing. And I know I saw earlier on CNBC that um, you guys were showing the Eiffel Tower and then you went to a flash video. That's exactly right. And that's one of the other really cool things about the device is it's really built for a great H HTML experience. So we've actually got flash on the device and there, there's nobody else that has flash on their device. Right. Flash, is, flash definitely adds to the value of the, of the device. The other thing that you, we haven't mentioned is the hotspot functionality. You want to talk about that sure. a bit? Sure. Yeah, I'd love to. So this device is actually a mobile hotspot. And again, with 4G, you're getting 10, time the, 10 times the speeds of 3G. What's cool about this, though, is I can actually connect in via Wi-Fi, uh, and then I get that speed out. So the way to think about it, and I can actually connect up to eight devices. So I could be in a room with four other people, and we're working on a project. We can all Wi-Fi into the device, 
which will obviously Wi-Fi is extremely fast, and I'm going to get it 4G speeds out. So everybody's sharing that 4G connection, but it's so fast, it's just like you're connected um, sitting at home with a cable modem or something like that or on your network in the office. Right. And it's up to eight devices. And you could, it could be three of us on a PC. One person actually could be doing something with, uh, you know, with a MP3 player or something like that. So it doesn't have to be just a work environment. It could actually be kids in a car connecting via Wi-Fi, a parent on a laptop, a kid on a gaming device, something like that. And when you guys roll this out, it's going to be sometime this summer probably? Yeah, so the device will actually be available this summer. Um, but people can pre-register at sprint.com slash EVO. Okay. Um, that's a great way to find out more about the product because um, we'll keep people updated as we, do, as we announce new capabilities on the device. Um, pricing has not been announced yet, and we've just said summer in terms of availability. Right, and it's a, it's a nationwide rollout. It's not going to be just the 4G network. You also support the 3G if people don't have 4G yet when you're rolling out the network. Yeah, right? that's a great question. So it'll, it'll be available on all of our channels, Best Buy, Radio Shack, uh, Walmart, all of the Sprint's uh, own stores. It's a nationwide rollout. And the thing about it is it's a great 4G device. It's also, uh, we believe, the best 3G device will be on the market this summer. Great. I'm looking forward to its rolling out, and uh, I may uh, have to, uh, to uh, get one as soon as you uh, have it available. We'd love it. Thanks. Great. Dave, thank you so much. Thank you.